Good evening, everybody. I'm C.J. Ward. And I'm Beth Farnsworth. We head to the harbor tonight after a nearly six-week ban following the Refugio oil spill. Fish and wildlife lifted restrictions earlier this week. Local fishermen say two things could impact future catches, undetected oil and a possible El Nino. And one of the two is already making an impact. These days, the catch of the day may include a surprise species. A week or two ago, there was five or six yellowtail swimming through the harbor. Or a jackpot-sized fish thanks to warmer water hugging the central coast south to Baja. There was a thresher shark that is 350 pounds um, undressed, so that means it's head off, gutted with no tail. So it probably weigh in around 400 pounds um, if, if it was head on and not gutted. Is so that unusual? I, I've never seen that before. Fishermen call them exotics, like the Dorado nab not far from the Santa Barbara coast, or this beauty reeled in off Rincon. And rumors of a steelhead trout spotted in the marina and schools of tuna swimming off our coast are enough to make a grown man giddy. It's really exciting for people when they do hear that. It causes a lot of stir in the harbor. But so did the Refugio oil spill, for obvious reasons. It's going to affect the local lobster fishing. It's going to affect the near shore fisheries. Um, possibly the rock cod. Fishermen tell us to keep an eye on the calendar when lobster season starts in October. That will be a real indicator of what type of damage, if any, the oil spill did to our local fishing industry.